Welcome to Inside Joke, the podcast that takes a serious look at a funny business. My name is Benjamin Lees, and I'm the managing director and co-founder of Comic Cure. At Comic Cure, we teach, produce, and book live comedy. Now entering our fifth year in business, we've worked with hundreds of comedians and hundreds of nonprofit organizations to unite communities with laughter and engage audiences in important causes. The goal of this podcast is to help aspiring comedians by passing on our knowledge of the industry and creating a forum for dialogue. We'll have different members of the industry as guests on the show, telling their stories and providing advice. We welcome all your feedback, questions, and comments so that we can provide a rich discussion of all the ins and outs and nuances of the comedy business. Lastly, please make sure to subscribe and share so that we can gain listeners, monetize this podcast, and justify to our loved ones why we should continue to do this. This episode is the first in a 10-part series that will provide some really quick and easy tips for new comedians to start looking like a professional. When it comes to performance, one of the first things I look for when a comedian sends me their demo video is what they do with the microphone stand when they approach it. Do they use the stand? Or if they don't use the stand, what do they do with it? If the performer takes the microphone out of the stand and doesn't stash the stand away, then that oftentimes is an indication that the comedian is an amateur. Well, for me at least. When the microphone is removed from the stand, but the stand remains between the audience and the performer, it causes a few issues. If using a wired microphone, the cord can easily get caught around the stand, especially if the performer is walking back and forth across the stage. I've seen it where the comedian has to keep passing the cord over the stand every time they cross it. It's almost like they're playing a game of double dutch. It's awkward, distracting, and takes away from the words being spoken. It also creates a sightline problem. Any object that is going to be placed between you as the performer and the audience is going to create a visual impairment, unless it's meant to be there, such as a prop or a sign. If the stand isn't stashed away properly, it's also going to create sightline issues and visual impairment for videography and photography. I've seen numerous recordings and photos ruined just because the comedian didn't move the stand away. The microphone stand can also become a crutch. I've seen performers fidget with the mic clip, rock the stand back and forth. To me, it's a bad habit and a sign of nervousness. I'm watching you play with the microphone stand when I should be hanging on every word that you're saying. Simply put, it's an unnecessary distraction. So with all that being said, if you're not using the microphone stand, move it to the back and side of the stage. When in use, the stand is a powerful tool that can be used to help you free up your hands, let's say for the purposes of an act-out, sound effect, or singing. And after all, nonverbal communication is highly effective for storytelling and entertainment purposes, and it also doesn't get used very often by performers, so it's a great way to create attention and make yourself stand out among the others. When we teach classes, I'm always surprised at how skittish and uncomfortable our students are with the stand. It's really nothing to be afraid of. And it's a good idea to practice adjusting the stand so that you're comfortable and learn its mechanics, weight, and feel. Does the microphone slide easily into the clip or does it require being popped into place? Is it difficult to adjust the height? Has the pole become unscrewed from the base? Take a good 10 minutes to assemble or disassemble one and get to know how the stand works. By the way, the mic clip is the most important part of the mic stand. If the clip's broken, the the entire stand is useless. So do your very best not to damage the clip. For comedy and spoken word, 99% of the time, you're going to want to use a solid bass microphone stand. However, many times, you're going to find that producers or venues that are unfamiliar with comedy will have a musician stand, or what's called a boom stand. Boom stands are lightweight and used to cast a microphone over a piece of equipment or to create space so that a performer can play an instrument freely. Since this is going to happen quite often, you should become familiar with how these stands function as well. It's also a good idea to have a mic stand of your very own, just for this reason. Let's say you're performing at a venue and they don't have the proper equipment. Here you are to save the day with your very own solid bass stand, which you can order online or purchase at a music store for about 25 bucks. You can probably find one even cheaper on a second-hand app like LetGo, OfferUp, or Facebook Marketplace. Today they have two solid bass stand variations. There's a traditional stand that requires two hands to operate, with a fastener in the middle, but now they also make a one-handed quick-grip clutch mechanism 
which can certainly prevent a good amount of awkwardness for performers when needing to adjust the height quickly and without incidents. Whichever you choose, make sure to take a look at the reviews online or try them out in person so you know exactly what you're getting. So that's my two cents on microphone stands. Thank you for listening to this episode of Inside Joke. If you enjoyed it, please share it with other comedians. I'm an emotional human being and I need positive reinforcement, so please give us a stellar rating and excellent feedback so that we can feel good about the time we're putting into this podcast. Also, let us know what you'd like us to talk about in future episodes. And if you're interested in performing with us, please go to our website at comiccure.com forward slash comic dash sign up to complete an application. Until next episode, I'm Benjamin Lees with Comic Cure. Toodles!